iVoxMaster on HanaAndroid.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I know some of you have been asking me, actually a ton of you have been asking me, Hey Max, can you get international ROMs working on the Sprint Galaxy S4? Uh, well, you know, I've been actually trying for the last like eight weeks or something and uh, I've been trying to get international ROMs working on my Sprint Galaxy S4, uh, but I just couldn't do it. But I figured out another way. Um, you can actually install any Verizon Galaxy S4 ROM on the Sprint Galaxy S4 and simply add some APN settings and voila, you got the full 3G, 4G LTE uh, and data working, which is amazing. I guess uh, Verizon and Sprint share the same 4G LTE frequencies. Um, so you can do this and install any Verizon Galaxy S4 TouchWiz ROM on the Sprint Galaxy S4. Uh, what this does is that a lot of Sprint users have been complaining to me uh, that there's not enough Sprint ROMs and they hate Sprint. Uh, but now you can love your Sprint phone again. You can go ahead and install all of your favorites ROMs, uh, Verizon Galaxy S4 ROMs, because Verizon has a little bit better custom ROM uh, as far as the number of custom ROMs. So now you can go ahead and do this. And I think this may work. I have not tried it, but uh, theoretically it should work on the Note 2, Note 3, and the S3. So uh, if you do have those phones, go ahead and try it. Sprint uh, Note 2, go ahead and try installing Verizon uh, TouchWiz ROM on the uh, Sprint Note 2. Anyway, let me show you how to do this. Very easy to do. Let's go do this, baby. So let's go ahead and do this. First thing you'll need to do is obviously install a Verizon uh, S4 ROM on your Sprint Galaxy S4 or also uh, it may work on, G on GTI 9505 ROMs. Uh, but what I found out was that uh, I could not find the um, basically, I could not find the access point names where you need to enter the Sprint APN uh, information. Uh, with the international ROMs, what happens is if you flash it on Sprint uh, Galaxy S4, um, the menu just disappears. So what I really recommend you to do is just install uh, Verizon Galaxy S4 ROMs because all of them that I've tried that actually worked. Also do install a custom kernel. Uh, I do recommend K-Tweaker kernel, which works with all Android 4.4.x, 4.4.2 ROM. So uh, for this example, I installed Echo ROM, which is uh, for Verizon, the Echo ROM that's been ported to Verizon. I installed that, and then I installed the k says kernel, or the K-Tweaker kernel, I like to call it. Uh, once you have that, and then boot it, and you'll get this, uh, right away, you'll get this 3G, so you do get signal here, but uh, your internet actually I don't think it actually works. Yeah, so it, the, your internet does not work and uh, your calls actually work out of the box so you don't have to do anything. Now your data is not working because the APN is not set right. Um, so let me show you how to do this. It's very simple. Once you have a Verizon Galaxy S4 ROM and K-Tweaker kernel installed on your Galaxy S4 and boot it like this, uh, simply go into um, your settings and go into mobile networks or more networks. Uh, and inside you'll find networks, more networks. And make sure network mode is set to LTE CDMA. All right, uh, and, then, and then go into access point names. And you'll find that since it's a Verizon ROM, the APN is set to Verizon. That is why you're, not, you're getting 3G, but it's not actually working. Um, you can also get 4G LTE. Now we're gonna go ahead and enter the Sprint 4G LTE APN. The name can be anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and name it anything here. And also APN, it's going to be n.ispsn, like that, all right, ispsn. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom in so you can see better. And I also have all this stuff you can type on my website uh, over at highonandroid.com. Uh, if you want to receive uh, SMS, MMS messages, you also have to set MMSC. So this is http dot dot slash slash, uh, and then you can type MMS dot Sprint PCS uh, dot com. All right, and next, what you want to do is uh, enter the proxy, which is going to be six eight dot uh, two eight dot three one dot seven. Hit OK. Uh, message port is going to be eighty, and double check that your MCC should be three ten and NMC uh, should be one twenty. Everything else you don't have to worry about. Um, you don't really have to set. Go ahead and hit the menu button and save. And you'll see right away the 3G will light up and uh, your 3G should be working. All right, 
there we go and let me go ahead and reboot the phone and you should start receiving 4g lte now one note about this uh, if you're using aosp roms you don't have to do this it will actually pick it up right away like roms like cm11 um, this is only for TouchWiz ROMs, like if you want to, uh, most of the Verizon Galaxy S4 ROMs should work just fine on the Sprint Galaxy S4. Uh, the reason is that Sprint and uh, Verizon both share the same network CDMA. Uh, whereas uh, international ROMs, I know there are a couple ROMs that this method might work, uh, but uh, so far I actually haven't gone any to work, but I've actually uh, heard that people on XDA have got it to work. But I've got like almost every Verizon Galaxy S4 uh, running ROM running on my Sprint S4 flawless like this. Um, so this is a great way to uh, you know enjoy more ROMs on your Sprint Galaxy S4. Um, so definitely, I just figured this out today, and I'm so happy. And uh, I know some of you are asking me like, you know, Max, can you install uh, you know international ROMs? Well, this is you know not international ROM, but just as good. You can install Verizon ROMs and watch this, and you'll get 4G LTE on uh, your Sprint Galaxy S4. And while that's going, uh, it'll take, oh, there we go, 4G LTE. And let me, it just booted up, that's why it's a little bit laggy here. Let me go ahead and show you. Ah. It just stopped on me, here we go. It's probably just booting up and doing the network thing. Ah. Come on. All right, I'm going to let it boot one more time, and I will be back. Ah. Oop, I don't need this SD card. But uh, this is an exciting day for me. Um, you should be able to also do this with any other Galaxy phones. Uh, the method should work the same. Just, you know, because all these, uh, you know, US-based Galaxy S4s all share the same Qualcomm software. So at the worst thing, you know, your data won't work, but, um, you know, it seems like everything just works out of the box. So this should actually work on Note 3 and the S5 also, although I have not tried. Uh, but if it, uh, I'll try it and make sure updates my um, uh, my uh, my tutorial uh, for all those different phones. But um, you know, it's working fine on my Galaxy S4. Uh, this opens up a ton of doors for Sprint users, and I know a lot of you actually complained to me that there were not as many ROMs on the Sprint S4. Now you can go ahead and flash all these nice uh, Verizon ROMs on your Galaxy S4. And this should method should also work on uh, Verizon uh, Note 2 also, or Sprint uh, Note 2. So Sprint users, rejoice. It's time to be happy and enjoy this. Um, so about device, let me prove you to that. Uh, base, base band shows that I have L720, which means this is a Sprint phone. And let's go to status here. Uh, you can see I'm on LTE, and let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and download uh, the speed test app real quick and show you how quick this is. All right, Sprint is a little bit slow on my uh, here in my basement office, but I should still get pretty good speeds, maybe like five megabits per second download. Um, by the by the the seeing the speed of the speed test uh, app being downloaded, I can see that it is sort of slow. Um, I have a feel for kind of that because I'm super high on Android. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and check this out and see how fast Sprint Networks is. Who knows, maybe it'll be faster than Sprint ROMs, you know. Um, yeah, just, just like I said, five, mega, well, getting a little bit better. Not too bad, but as you can see, um, everything working. My voice also works. Let me go ahead and show you my voice also works. So go ahead and try this on your Sprint Galaxy S4. And uh, yeah, go ahead and try it on Note 2 or uh, S5 or uh, also the Note 3. Go ahead and try this. It should work. Um, you know, these things are all compatible. So just no one actually wrote a tutorial about it. Um, but uh, this should work for all the Galaxy phones. Anyway, that's how you do it. I got it done, baby. Yeah. And thanks just for watching this video. To do this, um, you obviously do need also a custom kernel. The Galaxy S4 uh, is great because K-Tweaker kernel, uh, K-Tune says kernel is available for all the variants of the Galaxy S4. I'm not sure about the Note 2 or the Note 3 or uh, S5. I will have an updated tutorial for all of those, but in the meanwhile, go ahead and enjoy Verizon ROMs running flawless on your 
Sprint Galaxy S4. And uh, as all as always, if you if this has helped you, sorry, I'm really excited today. Super high on Android. If this has helped you make your life better, because now you can install all of your favorite Verizon Galaxy S4 ROMs on your Sprint Galaxy S4. Oh, you know what? Uh, just thinking about that, you may be able to do vice versa. You should be able to also install Sprint ROMs on the Verizon Galaxy S4. I'll have a tutorial on that too. In the meanwhile, uh, have a great weekend, and I will see you guys soon. As always, I stay on Android.